morning class. It is Monday. We are in October, whole new month. So today is the first um, day that we have class in October, and we have just finished a flex week. So we're starting a whole bunch of new units today. And I wanted to launch those units and tell you what to expect as far as work goes. So I'm going to share my screen and I'm going to show you um, what's happening this month. So if we take a look at our, um, our home screen, we have a couple of ways of looking at the schedule. We can go to the daily schedule, but I kind of like to look at the week at a glance to see where we're headed. So on our home screen, you can go to, I put a new link on here for the week at a glance, so you don't have to double click into the homeroom link. You can click on that one. I've also sent it to your families. I usually send it to you, but you should be able to access it here every day. So here's our week. You'll see this kind of funny picture because tomorrow's our first spirit day. You get to bring your pet to class in the morning. Uh, here is what's going on with language arts for the week. So if you look at we've got Monday through Friday here, and we've got a full week of school. We're launching Mod 2 in Language Arts, which is um, kind of a history-based language arts unit that goes sort of hand in hand with our social studies unit about um, first uh, when Europeans first came to this nation. So we have the pretest today. You can see I have what you're supposed to do, which is lesson 2.0 and 2.01, and then submit um, the pretest. 2.00. So we're going to do that in class today in breakout rooms. You need to do it at home today. And then after that, next tomorrow, we're going to do lesson 2.01 and the quiz, both in one day. So you just have one day for that one. The next day we'll do lesson 2.02, .02, but you can see submit nothing that day. So you have two days for that lesson. And then on Thursday, lesson 2.02, .02, and you're going to submit the assignment, life in a fort. And I'll go over that. And then lesson 2.03 on Friday, but you have until Monday to submit that one. You've got A, B schedule here. And then in math, we're starting mod three. We're going to submit today the pretest for mod three. Um, then we're going into lesson 3.01 tomorrow, and it has a quiz with it that we're going to do tomorrow. The next day, we're going to do lesson 3.02 and a quiz in 3.02. So quite a bit of math this week. On Thursday, we do lesson 3.03, .03, but you can see submit nothing. Um, so you have two days for that one. And then the next day, lesson 3.03, .03, .03, but submit assignment 3.03. .03. So that's your math for the week. Uh, book clubs, tomorrow we have the B groups. So um, I'll meet with 2B in the morning at 1030 on Tuesday and Thursday this week. Um, the rest of the group, when I do that, we'll be working on a dream box lesson every day, trying to get at least five, better to have seven done a week. And then um, reading to self, making sure you're getting reading done for your book club. And then you're going to zoom in and I'm going to explain the writing. This time we are going to do the writing in the unit for the first two weeks. Um, it's a little weird. It's a narrative story, but it's based on history. So you're going to kind of imagine it. So it's fiction. It's like historic fiction. Um, new Google Doc titled Language Arts Mod 2. So today, what you have to submit is I want you to make a new Google Doc. If you were one of my kids who didn't ever share your story last month, I need that today. So I'm going to be asking you to give me that. I might send you an email. Um, that was your narrative story we worked on for the last three weeks. We are done with that one. We're starting a new story today. Um, so you'll find that assignment in the language arts mod on pages eight, nine, and 10. We're going to just continue to work on that this week, next week. And then the week after that, we're going to do something called free writing where you get to choose your own topic. But for two weeks, I want you to focus on the one in the lesson. Then we're going to do breakout rooms for writing at 1.30. I want my 5A Heart of Books group to remember to come in. Um, today, Wednesday and Friday, you have three meetings this week. While they're coming in, you guys are working on your language arts assignments. At two o'clock, we have our Zoom meeting. We're launching a social studies unit on um, early North America. So it's got some geography in it and exploration. It also has a visit to a fort. And so I thought it'd be fun to visit Fort Vancouver. So we're gonna be doing a field trip all week where we go each day to a different part of Fort Vancouver, which is a real place you can really visit over in Washington state, not very far away. Um, today, we have a pretest. tomorrow, a lesson, on Wednesday, an assignment. So you actually have kind of like three days to do this first lesson and assignment. 
on Thursday, another lesson. On Friday, the assignment. It's quiz. So a pretty easy week in social studies. We're going to go through two lessons and just do one quiz and one assignment. And then I have my book clubs at 2.30. So 3A and 4A today, the Untitled and the Reading Cats Club. Um, tomorrow, we've got the Reading Warlords. And then again, the 3A, 4As on Wednesday and Friday, the Reading Warlords again on Thursday. So that's our week at a glance. Uh, taking a look at this, the uh, language arts unit this morning, which I'm going to be going through this morning. But if you miss class, I want you to see it. You're going to click into the modules. You're going to go down through, in fact, I'm going to disconnect Take Action Week, so you shouldn't probably even see that. Disconnected Module 2. Oh, here we go. We got a liven up Module 2. What am I talking about? Turning on Module 2. So here's our two exploration Mod 2 pretests. Don't just skip to the pretest, though. Please do the lesson first. Just take a look at it. It's a nice introduction to the lesson. And then lesson 2.01, navigation in the age of exploration. You're gonna click on that. This is gonna be your main work for today and tomorrow. There are 12 pages of this lesson. Again, I expect you to read the entire lesson or listen to it. This has a neat little exercise with four pages long about these different historic tools, which I, I thought was really interesting. There's some tools that I'd never heard about. Tells you what you're gonna be working on here. Um, some work on unknown words, vocabulary, how to use quotes to back up your information. The truth is you are a 10 or 11 year old kid and people won't believe what you have to say unless you can prove it by citing some information from a text. Like I got this information from this scientific journal um, and this is teaching you how to do that, okay? And as you work your way through this unit, I expect you to open up and read all of these things. And then the most important thing is to make sure you read the mentor text. So here's a five page thing to go through, but it's still an exercise on root, root words. And you have um, a guide in your printed materials on root words, which is cool. And then um, here, reading work, explorers, it gives you started on the story. Inferences, we're still talking about inferences and clues. And here's the start of our story, but you can see it's not the whole story here. I think on page five or six, quoting evidence they're talking about, punctuation, try it, still some little information. Here's the most important thing that you need to make sure you do. When you find it, this is the text that everything is gonna be based on for the whole unit really. And so you have to read this one and look, it's super long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pages. And you've got to read through this Navigation in the Age of Exploration on page six. Okay. I will go over the language or the uh, writing assignment at 1, uh, 1220 today. That's it. Thanks. I'm going to stop my share. I'm going to go to the live class. Hopefully you'll make it to that. But if you don't, you can watch this.